Each engine is equipped with a thrust reverser system, which redirects fan air to produce reverse thrust. Reverse thrust is available only on the ground. Hydraulic pressure is used to deploy the reversers. The right engine uses the right hydraulic system, and the left engine uses the left hydraulic system. The reverse thrust lever commands the EEC to open an isolation valve, which allows hydraulic pressure to move the translating sleeve aft. Blocker doors redirect fan air through fixed cascade guide vanes. The EEC automatically controls thrust limits when operating in reverse thrust mode. Multiple safety systems prevent in-flight deployment. The reverse thrust levers are located on the control stand. Normally, both levers are in the fold down position. Raising the reverse thrust levers to the idle reverse detent initiates reverser deployment. An interlock prevents further aft movement of each reverse thrust lever until the respective reverser is fully deployed. When the interlock releases, the reverse thrust lever may be raised to the full reverse position. During pre-flight and normal operations, verify that the reverse thrust levers are in the full down position. At the full down lever position, the reversers are stowed and locked. A mechanical interlock in the thrust lever assembly prevents simultaneous movement of the forward and reverse thrust levers. The forward thrust levers must be in the idle position before the reverse thrust levers can be moved. Raise the reverse thrust levers to the idle reverse position. The thrust reverser indications replace the thrust reference indications on ICAS. The indication is amber while the respective thrust reverser is in transit. When the translating sleeve is fully deployed, the amber thrust reverser indication changes to green. Raising the reverse thrust levers to the idle reverse position does two additional things. First, it disengages the auto throttle. Second, if the speed brake lever was down instead of armed during approach, the auto speed brake drives the speed brake lever to up, deploying the ground spoilers. To manually deploy the speed brakes prior to deploying the reversers. When the reverse thrust indications are green and the reverse thrust levers are in the idle reverse position, the engines are at idle reverse thrust. Now raise the reverse thrust levers to the full reverse position. Thrust limits are automatically controlled by the EEC when operating in reverse thrust mode. The reverse thrust levers should be lowered to the idle reverse position before reaching taxi speed. Push the reverse thrust levers downward to the full down position when the engines have decelerated to idle reverse thrust. The green thrust reverser indications change to amber indicating the reversers are in transit. The thrust reference indications replace the thrust reverser indications when the reversers are stowed and locked. 
Once the reverse thrust levers are in the full down position, the forward thrust levers can be moved. Next, we'll look at some non-normal conditions. Normally, the thrust reverser indication is either amber or green, depending on the position of the reverser. However, there are several conditions where the thrust reverser indication does not appear above the EPR indicator. A blank thrust reverser indication means that the reverser position information is either not present or the information is invalid. During EEC hard alternate mode operation, the thrust reverser indication is not displayed above the EPR indicator. Instead, the indication is displayed above the N1 indicator. The EECs can detect some failures of the thrust reversers in advance. The ICAS advisory message, Engine Reverser appears for the associated engine if the EEC has detected a fault in the thrust reverser control system while on the ground with the engine running. The ICAS advisory message, Engine Reverser Limited, can appear either in the air or on the ground. This message indicates the EEC has detected a failure that will cause the reverser not to deploy or reverse thrust to be limited to idle. If the EECs detect a problem during deployment of the reversers, the affected reverse thrust lever is blocked by the interlock at the idle reverse position, preventing the application of reverse thrust. In this example, the right engine thrust reverser has not fully deployed. The right reverse thrust lever cannot be raised beyond the idle reverse position.